In today's video, I'm going to make my 20 minute tomato based chowder. I'm Fiona. Welcome to Fiona's Food for Life. We're going to add in our chopped chorizo. So I tend to use a cooking chorizo for that. You could use the other dry chorizo if you like. I find it works really well because my kids want to fish through the chowder to find the chorizo and it just makes it um, a little bit more tasty. You don't have to add it if you don't want to. Next we're going to do our potatoes. So this is one of my really popular 20 minute meals. Um, so it's done in 20 minutes. It's almost one pot except that I'm going to steam the potatoes separately just so they don't go into mush. So you peel and chop your potatoes. You just want to chop them into small pieces like that so that you can, they're not too big to put on the spoon. So you pop your potatoes onto steam for a few minutes while you get on with the other bits that go in the chowder. So we're going to chop our two onions. You can check out my video on how to do this, but we've halved it, peeled it, cut through four or five times horizontally and then vertically five or six times but only 90% of the way. So we'll take out the chorizo. Just got a little bit of colour on the chorizo. There's now a little bit of oil in the pan and we're going to add back in the onions. Garlic. I love to use this xylus crusher if you don't have to peel the garlic. And our celery chopped into small pieces. As these are cooking away, if you find they begin to stick a little bit, just pour in a little bit of water. It's a little bit like sauteing in water, where I also have a video on that. We leave those to cook there for a couple of minutes, and now we're going to prepare the courgettes. So we're going to half it first lengthways, then turn it down, and again, again, and then we will go across like this. So you have it into little quarter pieces, which aren't too big to put on a spoon or a fork. So now we're going to add in a couple of anchovies. Um, they give a really nice depth of flavour. You don't really taste the, the strong fishy taste from the anchovies. What I tend to do is I would buy uh, the tin of anchovies in Lidl is best value. And then you won't use the full tin. So I get one of these little jam jars that you might get with your scones. You put the rest of the anchovies and the oil back in and they'll keep in your fridge for about three months. So into the pot we're going to add the courgettes the anchovy, a bit of soaking saffron, our passata, with the remainder of this then I freeze it in little ice cubes and you can use it for making pizza and we'll add the chorizo in as well. And our fish stock, so I don't tend to make my own fish stock, I tend to use these little cubes, I find they're great. And so we have added that in. Add your stock cube into the water and then into the pot. We're going to leave that to simmer for about five minutes. For the last five minutes, I'm going to add in the fish. So I have a natural smoked haddock, some salmon and some cod. A lot of the time you can get the chowder mix from your fishmonger, so long as it's, you know, it's made fresh that day. Uh, it's a good value that way. We've got our cherry tomatoes and we have our potatoes, which we steamed at the beginning. And you just leave that cook for five minutes and then we will add in some lemon zest and juice and perhaps some samphire and we're ready to go. 
after the five minutes, the fish is just cooked. You don't want to overcook it. We're going to grate in some lemon zest, some lemon juice, a little bit of pepper and salt. And then we will serve up the chowder. So here you have a one pot meal in 20 minutes. Top it off with a halo fight, which is called samphire, and enjoy. Thanks for watching today's video on my tomato based chowder. Please subscribe below, like and leave your comment. I'd love to hear what you think. Or maybe check out my other videos like how to chop an onion evenly or how to make a delicious sourdough bread with only three ingredients. Thanks a million. See you soon.